Hello everyone, welcome once again to Geospatial Tutorial. Today we will learn NDWI technique. NDWI stands for Normalized Difference Water Index, which is a slight modification of NDVI technique. NDVI will give you the surface vegetation, whereas NDWI will give you the surface water bodies. To begin with, we should understand the difference between NDVI and NDWI. Let me briefly explain. NDVI is near infrared band minus red band divided by near infrared band plus red band, whereas NDWI is green band minus near infrared band divided by green band plus near infrared band. We will be using Eradas Imagine to accomplish uh, this uh, task we have an option to model in Eradas Imagine. So click on Modeler and click on Model Maker which will open Model Maker screen. Here are your model making screens but today I will not be teaching you these things. These things will be taught in some other video. Today we will just be converting the NDWI model correction NDVI model into NDWI model with uh, some minor modification. So we will close these things. We will open the NDVI model available in Erdas Imagine. This is the NDVI model. This shape stands for input or output or basically for an image. However, all the shapes and the arrows will be explained when I will be teaching you how to create a model. Let's consider an input raster that is a Landsat 7 image. You can consider any image that you want. I'll be considering Landsat 7 but however depending on the satellite that you consider you will have to change your model slightly this is the function where infrared minus visible band is done and near infrared plus uh, infrared plus visible band is done we will be changing that into ndwi model so to see that First of all, we should understand what are the band combinations in Landsat. So this is the Landsat band combination. The bands what we are interested right now is near infrared and green. So we will see what is green. Green is band number 2 and near infrared is band number 4. So we are interested only in these two bands whereas this totally has 8 bands. So we will do operations on these two bands using Erdas model maker. Let's go to the model and click here and you delete entire thing because your interest is different. So now we will see the formula again. This is green minus near infrared. So we will make green that is band number 2 here select band number 2 minus near infrared was band number 4 click ok so here though the text displayed here is IR minus visible you have made it green minus near infrared now here we have to make a green plus near infrared again delete these things double click on green click plus click on band number four which is near infrared click ok the result will be stored here then again it will be uh, processed to make it the NDWI model and here is your NDWI model. Click here, double click here and define your output file. I'll define my output file as NDWI and 
click OK. So what we have just done is uh, we have taken a Landsat 7 image, we have extracted only green and near infrared band where we have done green minus near infrared and green plus near infrared. Then finally we have done further operations and got this entity divided by this entity which will be done here in these processes and created an output for NDWI. So this is your model but however how to use all these things in a model maker will be taught you in some other lesson. Now your model is done we have to run this model here is the option to learn run the model just click your model is running that is whatever the process you have defined is being executed now and it will give you a single output you had seven eight layers of Landsat image and you will get one single layer where all the surface water bodies are highlighted. We will just compare the original image and the NDWI image to see the difference. Keep in mind you cannot apply uniform principle, you cannot subtract and uh, add only band number 2 and 4. This is applicable only for Landsat 7. Say you are using an IRS image you have to go to their band combination and see which band is green and which band is near infrared accordingly you will have to perform your operations there you go your uh, model has uh, completed uh, the process click OK and you can close this if you want to save it as NDWI you can very well save it or you can do it again if you want. If you save it as NDWI, next time you can just run it the way you run NDVI model. You need not do all this process again. If you do not save it, maybe yes, you will have to do it again. But I don't want to save it. I'll just click close it and I'll go to Eras to see the result. Let me open the original image first. This is my original image where I have some water body here, here etc etc. But however this is not very very uh, much prevalent on this particular image. The result of NDWI should show you only water bodies very much highlighted. Let's open the resultant file. This is your NDWI. Let's open it. Now there you go. This is your NDWI resultant file. See you have some water bodies here. In these areas you have some water bodies which are not very very clearly visible whereas you come to this image your all surface water bodies are very very clear. See we have zoomed in both to the same extent you can see the difference these are very very much highlighted compared to its original image. With the help of this you can convert the image into shape file and extract the area that is represented by a particular feature or you can individually digitize each water body and compute the area of water bodies on your image. This will be very useful in your water body related research especially to see the degradation of surface water bodies over a period of time. If you do the same study over a period of say 20 to 30 years you can clearly see the difference in